every way you made for me every door you've opened for me blessings and glory and honor they all belong to you thank you Jesus for blessing me just want to praise him forever and ever and ever for all you've done every way you made for me every door you've opened for me glory to God blessings and glory and honor they all belong to you thank you Jesus for blessing me we just want to take time to tell you thank you I just want to thank you forever forever and ever and ever for all you've done every way you made every door you open hallelujah for me blessings and glory and honor they all belong to you thank you Jesus for blessing me Just want to thank you forever and ever and ever for all you've done, everything you've done, everything you've done, hallelujah, for me, blessings and glory and honor, they all belong. To you, blessings and glory and honor, and honor. They, all, they all belong to you. We give you the blessings and glory, blessings and, glory. and honor, and they all belong, they all belong to you. Blessings, and blessings and glory and honor, and honor. they all. We give him the glory. He deserves the worship. He deserves the honor. They all blessings and glory and honor. They all, they all belong to you. God, they belong to him. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing me. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm certainly excited about the things that God is doing in the life of the believer. Hallelujah. Signs and wonders shall follow them that believe. Thank God for you who chose to come worship with us here in the sanctuary and also via internet. Hallelujah. This is 10 a.m. Sunday morning miracle service. I believe God has a miracle designed just for you, a blessing with your name on it, a miracle with your name on it, healing with your name on it. Hallelujah to Jesus. God has been so gracious and so kind. We want to invite you to come worship with us also on Thursday evenings from 7 to 8. When God quenches our hunger and our thirst for righteousness through his word at Thursday Thursdays. Amen. At this time, we're going to boldly approach the throne of grace. Now, God, we thank you for another opportunity to worship you in the beauty of holiness. 
We thank you for keeping us this week from dangers seen and unseen. God, we thank you for your hedge of protection that you've placed around us. God, we thank you that you kept death from our door. You kept dangers from our door. You kept disasters from us. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, that we're here. And because we're here, we simply want to give you the praise. We simply want to give you the worship. We simply want to give you all the honor and all the glory. Satan, your plans are canceled. You are defeated because Christ is exalted. And it's in the matchless name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Psalm 68 and the 11th verse. It lets us know that God is a God of mercy. Yes. It says, teach me thy ways, O Lord, and I will walk in thy truth. Unite my heart to fear thy name. I will praise thee, O Lord, my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify thy name forevermore. For great is thy mercy toward me. Thou hast delivered my soul from the lowest hell. O God, the proud are risen against me. And the assemblies of the violent men have sought after my soul and have not set thee before them. But thou, O Lord, art a God full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering, and plenteous in mercy and truth. O turn unto me and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant and save the son of thine handmaid. Show me a token for good, for they which hate me may say it and be ashamed, because thou, Lord, hast hoped me and comforted me. The word of God for the people of God. Amen. Amen. May God have a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his most holy word. How many of you know that Jesus can work it out? Amen. Jesus can work it out. That habit that I had, I just couldn't seem to solve. I tried and I tried, but I kept getting deeper involved. So I turned it over to Jesus, and I stopped worrying about it. Turned it over to the Lord. Come on, church. Jesus, if you let him. Jesus, Jesus, that pain that would not move. Had me praying in the upper room That burden that I bore Had me wondering how much more Then I turned it over to Jesus And I stopped worrying about it Turn it over to the Lord Come on church Oh Jesus If you let him Jesus Jesus That habit that I had I just couldn't seem to break I prayed and I prayed, Lord, don't let it be too late. So I turned it over to Jesus, and I stopped worrying about it. I turned it over to Jesus, and I stopped worrying about it. I turned it over to Jesus, and I stopped worrying about it. I gave it over to the Lord. He can, he can work it out. 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 Why are you trying to figure it out? He's already worked it out. How you gonna pay your rent? All your money spent. A little bit to buy some food. Baby need a pair of shoes. You say you got a light bill due. You say you got a gas bill too. Telephone disconnect. Waiting on your next paycheck. I tell you what you ought to do. I tell you what you ought to do. He can work it out. 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 Abraham had a son. Isaac was the only one. Led him to a mountain high. The boy was getting ready to die. Abraham said a word, and a voice from heaven he heard. Abraham, Abraham, 
Abraham, Abraham, Abraham, Abraham, over there you'll see the ram. Didn't he, didn't he work it out? Didn't he, didn't he work it out? Didn't he, didn't he work it out? Or didn't he, didn't he work it out? The flesh fell from his bones. The wife, child, and children, everything he had was gone. His wife came running to him, the devil all in her eye. Curse your God and die. Job looked at the woman, he looked up to the sky. Woman, you sound foolish, you don't sound like my wife. I don't have no doubt this morning. Hey, God's going to work it out. 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 I gave it over to the Lord. He can work it out. He can work it out. He can work it out. Yes, he will. Oh, yes, he will. Oh, yes, he will. Oh, yes, he will. Hey, yes, he will. I know he will. I know he will. Hey, he can. He can work it out. He can work it out. He can work it out. Why are you trying to figure it out? Yes, he will. Oh, yes, he will. I know he will. Hey, he can. Come on, clap your hands because he can work it out. Glory be to God. Anything that there is nothing too hard for God. Hallelujah. He's able to work everything out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. He can work everything out. I haven't sung this one in a while. I'm going to sing it because somebody got on me and told me you ain't sang that one in a while. It's the power of God that keeps holding me up. Come on, church. Holding me up. Holding me up, it's the power of God that keeps holding me up. You know it keeps on holding me up. It's the power of God that keeps holding me up. Holding me up. Holding me up. It's the power of God that keeps Holding me up, you know it keeps on holding me up. It's the love of God that keeps holding me up. He keeps on holding me up. He keeps on holding me up. It's the love of God that keeps holding me up. You know he keeps on holding me up praise the name of god it's the power of god yes. hallelujah no strength of my own hallelujah nothing i've done for myself yes. it's the power of god hallelujah with god i can do all things hallelujah but without him i can do nothing right. amen this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I certainly want to welcome you to your miracle hour, to your miracle morning service. Amen. I just want to welcome you. Know that you're in the right place at the right time. And know that whatever you need from God is here. Amen. I'm just so excited about the world on this morning. I'm just excited about God in general. I just thank God for keeping me all week long. I just thank God how he watched over us and he kept us. Amen. And how he kept us from the storms and how yet our houses and our family is still here on this morning. Amen. Amen. I'm just so excited about God. I'm just so excited about the things that God is getting ready to do in the lives of the believer. And you just can't give up now because your miracle is on the way. Amen. Now at this time, we're going to introduce the hour, the speaker of the hour, Pastor Frederick Pride. He is anointed. He is appointed. He's a psalmist. He's a preacher. And he can prophesy. Amen. Open your hearts. Open your ears and receive the angel of this house, Pastor Frederick Pride. How many know that God is great this morning? Amen. Hallelujah. He deserves the worship. He deserves the praise. Hallelujah. Mm. 
You deserve the glory and the honor. Yes, you do, Lord. I lift my hands in worship as I magnify your name. You deserve the glory and the honor. I lift my hands in worship as I bless your holy name. You are great. Tell him he does miracles. There is no one else. There is no one else like you. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one like it. There is no one else. You are great. You do miracles. been a lot of places hallelujah but I can't find nobody like him hallelujah I've met a lot of nice people hallelujah but I can't find nobody like like him hallelujah hallelujah I've got a lot of nice things hallelujah but there's nothing holly that can compare to him glory be to God hallelujah there is none like him I can search for all eternity and still can't find nobody like him. There's nobody like him this morning. And we as believers, we have to make sure that we don't put anything above him. Nothing before him. Because he's a jealous of God. Hallelujah. This morning, we're going to come from the book of Habakkuk. The second chapter. Glory be to God. We're going to read verse 1 through 4. Let the words of my mouth. And the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Habakkuk, the second chapter, lets us know that we should write the vision. Mm -hmm. Habakkuk, the second chapter, verse number one, it reads, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. And will watch to see what he shall say unto me. And what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables. That he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. 
because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Behold his soul which is lifted up. Which is lifted up is not upright in him. But the just shall live by faith. And this morning I want you to declare with me. I am not a dreamer. I am a visionary. Say that again. I am not a dreamer. I am not a dreamer. I am a visionary. I am a visionary. Very good. You can have your seats all over the sanctuary. What is the difference between a visionary and a dreamer? Hallelujah. Y'all talk to me this morning. Hallelujah. The simplest answer would be, hallelujah, a sustained action. Action, hallelujah. A visionary is someone who envisions greater, hallelujah, than they work to make it happen. A visionary is someone who sees something greater and makes it happen. Hallelujah. However, a dreamer will see the same or will have the same ideal But they are unwilling to make the necessary steps to make their dream become a reality. That's why I believe Habeka, hallelujah, gives us a blueprint or instructions. If we are to be visionaries, the first thing we must do is we should write the vision. I can't hear nobody here because... If we're going to build a house, if we're going to, hallelujah, construct a car, if if we're going to build, hallelujah, a gazebo in the backyard, the first thing you have to have is a blueprint. I can't hear nobody this morning. You have to have a, a blueprint. Hallelujah. And the reason why some of the things have not came to pass because it's difficult for us to understand verbal instruction. I can't hear you. That's why I believe the word of God is given to us as believers because it's not passed on word of mouth. God has given each and every one of us believers a blueprint. Hallelujah. And the problem is what happens is we come contrary or we run against the blueprint hallelujah we do things that are not in the manual hallelujah have you ever have you ever tried to construct something or build something i'm going to talk about myself for a moment hallelujah i'm going to be transparent here sometimes it's difficult for me to read the instructions not because i'm illiterate because i feel sometimes i'm an intelligent individual i've studied at at the university I've sat in the company of great men therefore it's not necessary for me to read the instructions on how to put the desk together I can't hear nobody here therefore me taking on my own knowledge and my own strength and my own experience I began to build this desk hallelujah I, I first I laid out all of the pieces hallelujah The bigger pieces to the left and the smaller pieces to the right. Hallelujah. Doesn't that sound good? That sounds like that makes a lot of sense, right? You start with the big pieces first and then you put the smaller pieces in as needed. I can't hear nobody helping me when I'm being honest with the body of Christ. Therefore, I began to construct the desk and I began to put the desk together hallelujah to jesus and uh, instead of reading the instructions hallelujah i placed the picture i taped the picture up on the wall so i could see exactly what it looked like i can't hear y'all here i'm finna help y'all this morning and and some of us that was that's exactly what we do we don't want to know how they got anointed we just look at them and we, we 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 fix our mouth like how they fix their mouth and we walk like how they walk and we talk like how they talk and we sing like how they sing and we rap back that means lean back hallelujah we rap back how they rap back hallelujah and hallelujah when we lay hands like how they lay hands but we don't have the anointing because we didn't read the instructions 
as those, hallelujah, have gone before us. Hallelujah. We don't have the methods, hallelujah, but we have the display. And uh, I got to go on and tell this story about myself building this desk. I'm going to help you because I want you to be a visionary and not just a dreamer. Glory to God. So I began to construct this desk and I, I went because I, I, I didn't even have the proper tools. I had a, a fill of head screwdriver, but in order to put this desk together, you had to have an Allen key. I can't hear nobody here. Hallelujah. You have to have an Allen key to put this one together. And so therefore, that sounds so much like us in the church. Hallelujah. We've got the tools, but we're using the wrong ones. You're using a hammer when you need a screwdriver. You're using, hallelujah, a monkey wrench, hallelujah, when you need, hallelujah. I can't hear nobody here. Y'all not helping me this morning. We are using the wrong tools. God said, with love and kindness have I drawn all men unto me, hallelujah. But in this hour, we want to preach a gospel of prosperity. We want to preach the gospel. We even preaching a gospel of hatred, hallelujah. If you don't look like me, you don't talk like me, you don't sing like me, you don't dress like me you don't need to worship here we're using the wrong type of tools hallelujah we trying to hallelujah we trying to fry the fish and we haven't even caught the fish yet so i got to go on and tell you of the importance of the instructions glory be to god so i then i had to stop hallelujah production because i don't have the right type of tools i can't hear you here and sometimes we're limiting ourselves because we have to stop the production because we don't have the right equipment That's right. hallelujah god wants to do a move in this hour but we don't have the right equipment we're, we're, we're ill-equipped hallelujah for the task at hand we refuse to pray we refuse to fast we refuse to turn our plates down we refuse to tell the flesh no hallelujah we refuse hallelujah our friends are more important our family is more important therefore we neglect god so when god is ready to do something in this hour we are ill prepared so i then i had to stop what i was doing and i had to get to the nearest hardware store. I can't hear nobody here. And I, I, I told them I'm putting together a desk. Glory be to God. And I need a, an Allen key. Hallelujah. So therefore they look at me and they say. Well what size key do. Y'all don't want to hear me this morning. What size key do you need? Glory be to God. And I, I, I had difficulties telling them what size Allen key did I, I need it because I refused to, hallelujah, read the instructions. Nevertheless, I, 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 was, I, I, I let my intellect kick in and I said, well, give me the, the set. Glory be to God. I don't need one. I need a whole set of them. That way, when I get home, I can... Hallelujah. I can put this desk together. Hallelujah. So I needless to say I got the Allen key and I, I had to go through each and every one until I got to the right size. And that's what some of us have begun to do. We've begun to experiment. Hallelujah. And we try to find the right fit. Hallelujah. But you would know what to do and which one you would need if you would read the instructions so picture this picture this the anointed man of god hallelujah finally finds the proper allen key and he begins to assemble the desk i can't hear nobody here and i began to assemble the desk and i got it to look just like the picture glory be to god but i noticed that when i looked to my right side because the bigger pieces were on the left and the smaller pieces were on the right and i was using them as needed uh, it looked like the picture but when i leaned against it it was still a little wobbly i can't hear nobody here hallelujah and we fixed ourselves to the point where we look anointed and we we talk anointed and we we sing about the power we preach about how god is going to do great and how we believe god for things and and but when when the devil come knocking on our door guess what we still a little bit shaky i can't hear you you're still shaking, hallelujah. You're still flimsy. You're still, hallelujah. You're really shaking at the bootstraps because you have not been constructed, hallelujah, as the manual has set forth for your 
production. So after wasting hours upon hours, almost half a day, when I read the instructions, the instructions said it shouldn't take no longer than 30 to 45 minutes to construct this desk. But it took me, hallelujah, more than six hours to do what I was supposed to have been able to do in only 45 minutes because I refused to read uh, the instructions hallelujah so that i had to go back before hallelujah i had to unassemble what had already been put together i can't hear you here i can't hear you here this morning see 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 we're wasting time in this hour because we just want to be dreamers hallelujah we see it and then we expect to get it hallelujah but we don't want to do the process hallelujah we don't want to read the instructions we don't want to be equipped with the right tools i can't hear nobody here hallelujah we don't want to put it together in the process in which it was designed because as long as you're a dreamer hallelujah you're gonna get the desk but it's gonna be shaky hallelujah you're gonna get your miracle but you're gonna be shaky when the devil comes at you hallelujah hallelujah you're gonna get your healing but uh when when the symptoms come back on you you're gonna be wobbly you're gonna be hallelujah you're not too sure i thought i was healed but you know my i'm still having a little bit of pain you know i'm 50 percent healed either you're healed or you're not hallelujah by his stripes we were healed hallelujah every healing that jesus performed Hallelujah. It happened immediately. Hallelujah. He didn't tell him take two aspirins and come back in the morning. Hallelujah. Immediately his hand. He stretched forth his hand. Immediately he took up his bed and walked. Hallelujah. He he turned water into wine immediately. It didn't take hours. It didn't take minutes. It didn't take years. Hallelujah. But I want you to understand as a believer. Hallelujah. Your instructions are important hallelujah though it tarry Habakkuk says it will not tarry it may look like it's going to take you a long time but it it won't take that long at all hallelujah however hallelujah a dreamer will have the same ideal but they are unwilling to take the necessary steps to make the dream become a reality a visionary will make an impact on the world and however a dreamer will make every effort to escape the world i can't hear you here a dreamer hallelujah will hallelujah do his best to isolate himself from the world isolate himself from friends isolate himself from family hallelujah isolate himself from the issues hallelujah we have a lot of dream churches i can't hear you here hallelujah they want to sing and shout hallelujah but when it comes to really dealing with the nitty gritty dealing with the world and compelling the world to change or to make an impact hallelujah they will run or try to make any escape from making an impact hallelujah to fully appreciate this distinction we must see what a visionary and a dreamer have in common i can't hear nobody here there's some things that dreamers and visionaries share in common hallelujah they have a common characteristic because they are cut from the same cloth hallelujah and believe it or not hallelujah we can be sitting in the midst of people hallelujah that are dreamers and visionaries hallelujah the husband can be a visionary and the wife can be a dreamer hallelujah mama is a visionary but the children are dreamers i can't hear nobody here you cut from the same cloth you can sing together you can preach together hallelujah but when you start talking visions and dreams hallelujah hallelujah that separates hallelujah the sheep from the goat i can't hear nobody here you you, you, we, we can talk a good game, hallelujah, but a visionary say, when we going to get started, hallelujah. But a dreamer say, oh, that would be nice, hallelujah, if I had the money. It, that would, this is the conversation of a dreamer, that would be nice if I knew a contractor who could build me something like that, hallelujah. But a, a visionary don't know nothing about contract work, well, they'll go get an instruction manual and build it themselves i can't hear you near the 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 visionary and the dreamer they're cut from the same cloth hallelujah they are like uh, uh, a tuned instrument, and, 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 it can, and, and, and it can pick up the very finest signals from the higher rim where ideas live. Hallelujah. A dreamer and a visionary, they, they, they're so in tune. Hallelujah. They, they can pick up the, the most 
the little, the smallest, the most, the finite, hallelujah, things, the most simplest things that you would speak or you would say a dreamer or a visionary would catch on to it immediately or quickly, hallelujah. As a result, they are often very sensitive and unable to take criticism, hallelujah, without despair hallelujah when you really get in touch with a dreamer or a visionary they 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 they, they don't they don't take criticism well i can't hear nobody here hallelujah when you start telling somebody your dreams and your your visions you they don't they don't take criticism well that's why a lot of times visionaries or a true artist they don't present the work until it's finished i can't hear you here Hallelujah. A real visionary. Hallelujah. They don't need your critique. Hallelujah. Because they already got God. Hallelujah. They got a God idea. Hallelujah. They don't need you. They don't need, they don't need, uh, you to, you know, well, what you think we to do blue or red. Hallelujah. A visionary already seen it in purple. I can't hear you here. They don't, a visionary is difficult for a visionary to be diplomatic and take a vote on it because they've already seen it. Hallelujah. A visionary or a dreamer has the ability to see something before it actually takes place hallelujah it's almost prophetic hallelujah and if you're going to be a visionary see a visionary hallelujah they don't have to have the house hallelujah built from the ground up hallelujah they can purchase a home that's 50 years old hallelujah and walk in there and see the home hallelujah with granite countertops hallelujah i know it's wood paneling on the wall now but the visionary can see the home with sheep rock hallelujah and crown molding hallelujah that's a visionary hallelujah but see some of us who are not visionaries hallelujah we have to have it already presented to us the way it ought to be hallelujah but a visionary it, it, it doesn't matter how it's presented to you you can give me lemons and we can make lemonade hallelujah you can hand me lemons and we'll make lemon meringue pie i can't hear you nobody i'm talking about a visionary hallelujah but the people who don't have no vision or they don't have no 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 purpose or no plan you hand them apples and they'll have apples for dessert instead of getting there and getting some flour and some sugar and make an apple pie i can't hear you no i can't hear nobody hallelujah a visionary hallelujah you can't be pe- a can of peaches and we gonna have peach cobbler hallelujah but a person that does not have a vision hallelujah they just gonna have a can of peaches tonight i can't hear you here i'm trying to help you so i'm not just a dreamer i'm a visionary I'm not just a dreamer. I'm a visionary. Hallelujah. You may be on the bus now. Hallelujah. But until you see yourself riding, you'll always be on the bus. You may be renting now. But in uh, hallelujah, until you uh, tap into your ability to be a visionary, you'll always be a renter. Hallelujah. How can you tell if you are a dreamer or a visionary? Hallelujah. If you are a visionary... A regular job can feel as if it's like a prison cell and there's no amount of dreaming that will come over you to make this feeling go away. Hallelujah. That's the reason why some of us don't get along with our boss. It's not because we don't like them and it's not because they don't like us and not because this isn't a great place to work. Hallelujah. It's not because I don't appreciate the check on the 1st and the 15th. Hallelujah. It's not because I don't like working with the different people that I have been charged to work with. But being a visionary, sometimes it's difficult to work with others not because of your attitude or your disposition it's because you have a vision and you never envisaged yourself to be sitting here answering and punching somebody's clock hallelujah but that's nothing wrong with being a visionary hallelujah it says that uh, being a visionary you feel as if hallelujah a visionary there is no amount of dreaming that can over that can to make you get over this feeling you may not know uh, your ideas or you but you may even know exactly what you want hallelujah nevertheless in life and if you have any god giving ideas you will not be happy until you have tried to make them become a reality i can't hear you here 
you when you're a real visionary you 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 you're not happy where you are glory be to god and no amount of dreaming will make you happy but when you are a dreamer hallelujah you're content on your job hallelujah a dreamer is content working a nine to five and they enjoy dreaming after work hallelujah a dream is only good when one is asleep i can't hear you here Dreams are only fulfilling to those who are asleep. But in order for you to have a vision, you have to be awake. Hallelujah. You have to be wide awake and alert. In order to have a vision. I'm reminded of the visionary. I'm almost finished now. I'm reminded of the visionary in the first book of Samuel. The 30th chapter by the name of David. Glory be to God. David finds himself in a position. Hallelujah. He was in a bad situation about the 8th chapter. And David inquired of the Lord saying, shall I pursue this troop and Shall I overtake them? And he answered, Pursue them. Thou shalt overtake them without fail and recover it all. I can't hear nobody here. Because if we read it earlier in the 30th chapter of 1 Samuel, hallelujah, Ziglag had burned, hallelujah, Ziglag had burned and captives had been taken and i want to let you know that some of us as believers have allowed the enemy to take our visions captive i can't hear you here this morning some of us as believers have allowed our friends and our families to hold our visions captive we've allowed our age to hold our visions captive we have allowed our energy and hallelujah we've allowed our education to be held captive because of what others have said about us i can't hear you here we've allowed people to tell you you're too old to start a business hallelujah you old enough to retire now what you talking about starting a business hallelujah they did we've allowed people to tell us that hallelujah you don't know the right people hallelujah but you don't have to know anybody as long as you know god hallelujah because the bible says psalms one the steps of a good man are ordered by the lord hallelujah and when your steps are ordered by god he will he will he will lead you into the path in which you are going he'll connect you to the right people to that will make your vision a reality and i want to encourage you this morning if you have a vision most visionaries don't have enough funding for their vision but god is so god and he's so awesome that he's capable of making provisions for your visions that that's why I believe Habakkuk said that the just shall live by faith. And, and I want to let you know if you could see your way out, it's not necessarily faith. I can't hear you. If you knew how it was going to be, God allowed you to see the ending. But he didn't allow you to see the tires, tireless hours, huh? the sweat and the tears. Huh? Because if you're going to go through something, huh? you're going to come out. Hallelujah with power huh if you go through something huh you're gonna come out with healing huh if you go through something huh i don't know what your something is huh you'll come out with success huh i want you to know this morning before you can really enjoy a success huh you have to first become acquainted with failure i can't hear nobody here huh the first thing you're gonna have to do is you have to know what failure feels like huh for you can really appreciate appreciate huh, the sweet smell of uh, success huh? but i'm reminded of the scripture this morning huh, that weeping may endure for a night huh, but joy comes in the morning huh? and i want you to know i got to get back to samuel huh? the bible says that they, he, the david received the instructions huh, to the, pursue them huh? and not only should you pursue him but you're going to overtake them huh the problem is we don't want to get the instructions huh on how to make this vision a reality huh hallelujah god i believe god has given you all the pieces huh to your vision huh he set the things in place that you need huh in order to make the vision become a reality huh but because you refuse to receive the instructions 
I've never seen it in my life. Huh? We've got people who think they can walk around aimlessly. Huh? They don't want to be subject to anybody. Huh? They're always right. Huh? They know everything. Huh? They can do everything huh? until it's time to produce. Huh? Then it's another story. Huh? But the Bible says, huh? hallelujah, that David, huh? hallelujah, they pursued him huh? and they over took them huh and when he had brought them down huh they were spread abroad all of the earth huh they were eating and drinking and dancing because of all the great spoil that they had taken out of the land of the philistines huh and out of the land of judah huh and i want you to know this morning huh the very thing that you have already seen huh god wants to supersede your expectations huh i can't hear you here huh i know you saw a house huh with one car garage huh but god in your vision huh but god the word of god says huh now unto him that's able huh to do exceedingly huh abundantly huh above all you could ask or think huh i can't hear nobody here huh what you expect from god huh god wants to supersede your expectations huh i got one more story huh and i got to go on home now huh i can't hear nobody here huh but i believe somebody is moving from being just a dreamer to being a visionary huh the bible said that there were some fishermen huh by the sea huh and they said they had been fishing all night long huh and i wish i could talk to some people that seem like they've been doing it all night long huh and they have still to receive their success huh some of you been praying all night long huh and you still have not received your success huh hallelujah you've been faithful to your vision huh for months now huh you've been faithful to it huh for years now huh you've been faithful to it huh almost 10 years huh and it has not gotten better huh i'm reminded of the woman with the issue of blood huh but she said made up in her mind huh that her faith would make her whole huh bible says jesus comes on the scene huh the carpenter huh imagine this huh the carpenter telling the fisherman huh how to fish huh the bible says jesus said huh how, he said master we have toiled all night long huh glory be to god huh but nevertheless huh at thy word huh i can't hear you this morning huh you got a vision huh but you got to listen for the word of the lord huh glory be to god huh so jesus says unto thee huh cast your net on the right side huh hallelujah to jesus huh you've been working on your vision huh you've been working on your plan huh but you've got to start doing it the right way huh i can't hear you here huh i know you want to start a business huh but you can't start a business huh up under your boss huh hallelujah do it the right way huh i know you want to start a ministry huh but you can't start a ministry huh out of somebody else's ministry huh do it the right way huh i know you want to hustle huh you can't make somebody husband huh be your husband huh he already has a wife huh do it the right way i can't hear nobody here huh i know you want a wife huh but she's already married huh get you a single woman huh do it the right way huh i can't hear you here huh and the bible says huh when they cast their nets huh on the right side huh they said they had so much fish huh that their nets huh begin to break huh i want you to know this morning huh when you will hallelujah do things the right way huh and you become a visionary huh you're gonna experience an overflow huh you will experience your increase huh hallelujah the bible goes on and says huh that they had so so many fish huh, that they had to call the other bulls huh, hallelujah and give fish away huh and i want you to know this morning huh that when you become a visionary huh and you write it down huh and make it plain huh and hear the voice huh 
of the Lord. Huh? Your vision huh, will be so blessed huh, that you'll be able huh, to bless others. Huh? Your ministry huh, will be so blessed huh, that your ministry huh, will be able to bless other ministries. Huh? Your home huh, will be so blessed huh, that you'll be able to bless others' homes. Huh? Your marriage huh, will be so blessed. Huh? I can't hear nobody here huh, that your marriage will be so blessed huh, that you can bless others huh, in their marriage. Huh? I got to quit now. Huh? But we've got to understand that we've got to move from just being dreamers. We're visionaries. Hallelujah. We don't sit back and wait on things to happen. Hallelujah. But we make it happen. Because the Bible says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Glory be to God. Visionary, a visionary person faces the same problems as everyone else. But rather be paralyzed by their problem. A visionary will immediately commit themselves to a solution. A visionary will immediately commit themselves to a solution. Now, God, we thank you this morning for this word you've given us. Not to be just dreamers, but to be visionaries. God, you've given us so many dreams and so many visions. But we've sat down. And we waited on you to do it. But I feel in this hour in my spirit. You're waiting on us. Lord give us the strength. Give us the courage. Give us the wisdom. Give us the knowledge. Give us the power. Give us the provision. To move ahead. To be progressive. So we can push to our promised future. We won't be the same. Hallelujah. We'll use what you gave us. And we'll give it back to you. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. 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 You say well preacher I'm not a dreamer. Visionary. I ain't nothing. I'm a nobody. Hallelujah. But I want you to know. That you are somebody in God. You're God's visionary. I want you to know God has a vision for you. The Bible said beloved above all. I would that you would prosper. And be in good health. Even as your soul prospers. And I want you to be prosperous. Hallelujah. Spiritually. Then naturally. I want you to become a part of this family. Of blood bought believers. It's simple. It's not difficult at all. Hallelujah. All you have to do is recite this simple prayer after me. Hallelujah. And God will make you a visionary. And he will cause your visions and your dreams to come to pass. Repeat after me. Father, forgive me. I'm a sinner. Create in me a clean heart and renew the right spirit in me. I take off the old and put on the new, which is in you. Amen. I want to welcome you to a family. Hallelujah. A royal family. A family of winners. I want to invite you to come and worship with us. Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. we have Sunday morning miracle service. On Thursday nights from 7 to 8 is Thirsty Thursday. Where God is quenching our hunger and our thirst for righteousness through his word. Amen. God is blessing those who believe. If you don't come here, we want you to, you need to get into a church home where the preacher is preaching a gospel according to Christ. And they will push you into your promised future. They'll pray for you. And not pray on you. Amen. Amen and amen and amen. And at this time, we're going to give according to how God has blessed us. Amen. God has been so good to me. Hallelujah. He's too good for words. I cannot tell it all. He's done so much for me. Oh, Lord. Where's that? Where's that? Glory be to God. Glory be to God. That's it. My Lord. My God. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. 
My Lord, I want to encourage you that God's got a blessing for you. Amen. God's got healing for you. Amen. God's got a miracle for you. Now, God, we thank you for these gifts. Yes. We thank you for the givers. We ask you, God, to open up the window of heaven and pour them out such a blessing they don't have enough room to receive. God, we ask you to cause their barns to be bursting with plenty. Cause them to have so much that they have to give it away. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. At this time we're going to go. We never dismiss. Hallelujah. But we speak healing in your life. life. We speak miracles in your life. life. An undeniable display of the power of God be in your life. We won't rest until we see you blessed. We love you. We love you. We love you. Thank you.